What is going on people? Welcome to today's video, okay? We're gonna be talking about high ticket dropshipping and if you should do it or not, okay? I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons of high ticket dropshipping. We're gonna be breaking down different stores that are using high ticket products and whether or not it's better to use Facebook ads or Google ads, okay? So, but before we get into it, as always, I'm gonna give away a free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me. All you have to do is comment master plan in the comment section. That's master plan down below. Subscribe to the channel, turn on that notification bell, and you'll be entered to win. Okay, so the last person who won the consulting call is Antoine. So if you're watching this, reach out to me and we will jump on a call and see where you're at with your econ journey. Okay, so let's not waste any time and let's jump into the pros and cons of high ticket dropshipping. Okay, so. The first pro is there's gonna be more room to work with your Facebook ads, okay? So if you pick the right product, you can have a higher cost per purchase, okay? So if your product, you were selling a product for say $300, you can have, and it costs you maybe $100 to buy the product, okay? So you're paying $100 and for the product and Facebook is charging you $100 cost per purchase, which is incredibly high. That leaves you with roughly a 33% margin, okay? So you will get the $100 from the $300 sale, okay? So there is more room to work with, okay? The second pro is there is less customer service, okay? People don't understand how valuable that is until you are actually running an e-com store, a dropshipping store, and you are getting 100 orders to, per day and the amount of customer service you have to keep up with is insane, okay? So it's basically, you're gonna have to get a VA if if you do have that amount of orders, okay? The third pro is there is less competition. There is not gonna be as many people doing high ticket dropshipping. It is definitely more advanced and you do need to know what you are doing, okay? So that kind of goes into a con, okay? It is not beginner friendly. Uh, there are a lot of things you need to know about high ticket dropshipping, you should, Obviously start with low ticket item, items first and then work your way up once, you, once you've actually scaled a few stores and you understand the process of doing that, okay? So another con is you're gonna need a bigger budget with this. Of course, if you're drop shipping, you're gonna need to pay for the product first and then you're gonna send it out to the customer, okay? So when the customer puts in the order, obviously you're gonna need to pay for that and then you're gonna send it out to them, okay? So you do need a bigger budget, especially when you're scaling, right? And you're gonna to need to free up some cash flow, okay? You should have exceptional customer service, okay? I cannot stress this enough. You do not wanna be getting refunds on items that cost $1,000, okay? So you got the sale, $1,000, perfect day. I can't believe this, maybe $600 profit or whatever the profit was. And then you don't follow up with the customer service and he says, I want a refund. And it happens, okay? It happened to me. That is an absolute nightmare. And all the hard work you've done to get to that stage is ruined, okay? So the fourth con is you need to warm up your audience more, okay? you It is very hard, um, especially with Facebook ads, to send them straight to a product page and you are selling a product for $500, okay? It is not gonna work. You're gonna need to show, you're gonna need to show your brand, your presence before they purchase, okay? So you can send out ads and then retarget the, those people that interacted with them ads with different ads and then maybe sell them on the second or third ad, okay, that you send out, right? So don't sell them on the first, warm them up, educate them about your product and then later on down the line, keep retarget them and then sell them to a, a, a sales page or put them into your funnel then, okay? That is, um, that's the kind of difference that where it is, it's not really beginner friendly, okay? So a lot of people, it's, it's a lot more effort that goes into it, but there's a lot better reward that you're gonna get over. So if you are going to use Facebook ads for high ticket items, I would recommend doing the kind of the low ticket, high ticket items, okay? So items around $150 up to 400, 500 max, okay? Any more than that, you really, it 
it's it's very hard to sell on that platform you probably want to use google ads they are generally better for high ticket items okay but you can do it especially around 150 dollars is a really good price it's kind of low ticket high ticket item but you can have different variations from say 150 dollars up to 300 dollars okay so you're hitting them different metrics you want to include and um, when selling a product okay so that's going to bump up your average order value and it's going to give the customer a chance to basically have look at different variations of the product you're selling okay so let's jump into a store here and uh, let's just break down the products they are selling okay so you can see here this is a dog feeder it's basically the dog comes up and it's like a motion sensor and it's 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 you can buy a wi-fi connected or wi-fi plus camera okay so you can see here the two different variations they're using the wi-fi plus camera is 289 dollars um, and the wi-fi alone is 200 dollars okay so first of all just to talk about their store the colors are really good they are very plain very simple that's what i always tell you guys to use nothing too crazy okay so they are strong colors but it works okay so black and yellow it's in their it's in their logo it's in their it's in their branding okay so they're branding the whole store like that the buy button buy it now button that is yellow too okay so you can see here some trust badges lots of pictures and this is really good so you can see their pictures actually come up here on the left as well okay so that is really good so you don't have to click through all these different pictures they're going to come up regardless and they're using gifts these um these type of pictures they work really really well okay so the customer um is always using their eyes to purchase okay they do not want to read all this if you can tell them all this writing in a picture it's a picture tells a thousand words guys okay everyone knows this uh, you guys know that okay so satisfaction guarantee just to guarantee they're they're legit that if anything happens you can give them back uh, the their money and then they have some social proof down here okay so how much are they profiting off this let's find out okay so 199 is for the wi-fi version and the wi-fi plus camera let me check here so you can see here in aliexpress you can ship from different places i'm sure it'd be cheaper to ship from russia is it Okay, it's the same and it says shipping from United States, I don't want to believe that. Um, okay, so you can see here the Wi-Fi one plus, okay, so the camera one is $99 and they are selling that one for $289, okay? So that is a cost per purchase to work with, with $189, okay? So you, the only thing is that that sounds amazing and it is, that's, that's a really good profit, okay? But you need to have great marketing. You need to you need to separate yourself from your competitors when you are doing this. Okay, so a lot just to just to say it's going to take a lot more work than selling a little toy that costs twenty dollars. Okay, so let's go on to the next product, and that one is okay. So this is a telescope, and it, it's it's a normal product, but the unique selling point in this is you can hook up your camera to it or your your phone okay so that's pretty cool that is the reason i think this product would do pretty well and um, you can see here they have a video so they have a video in both of these products okay so the person can click on the video and he can see himself using this okay so that is really cool you're gonna have to if you're targeting this you would want to target different types of things, okay? So how I would target this product, I would put it in a CBO campaign, age, I would go from 25 all the way up to 65, okay? So you want to start off broad all the time, start broad and then work your way in. Don't assume you know everything about this. Don't assume by looking at the product, you know the type of person that's gonna be using it. Maybe you're right, but you still wanna start broad at the start and then narrow down and then when your ads are getting fatigued and you're not getting as good of a return on your ad spend, that's when you start looking at your analytics and then optimize your ads to that, okay? But you can't really optimize your ads if you are if you start off and you go, well, I think he's there 35, it's a male, uh, 35 to 40. It might work, but it's better to start broad, okay? So usually start for, with a, a campaign 
and make it around 20 to 30 dollars okay start low and um, that's what i would usually do okay so always use a cvo campaign facebook's pushing for this and they're going to reward you for that as well okay so different types of interests these aren't great i just literally came up with these these are off the top of my head but you would obviously do your due diligence uh, google things go into magazine brand going to magazines different brands and um, different behaviors okay and you can target these off each other okay so i would have one campaign for each of these okay so one or one ad set so one ad set will be binoculars the next ad set will be bird watching magazine and so on and so forth okay so you might have four or five different ad sets and then you can use different copy within those ad sets okay so the ads are going to be slightly different okay so if i was targeting this brand i would say something like stock liquidation all our AMP scope telescopes have huge reductions. When stock sells out, they're gone. Something along them lines, okay? When I'm doing my ad copy, I keep it really, really simple, okay? Just make it look really good, okay? So if it looks good, looks professional, um, you're targeting them off a, a good page that has a good name, okay? So if you were doing an item like this, you might ha you might brand this as a one product um brand you know okay so it could be called am scope something cool anyway that's going to make it look like this is the original product okay okay so when you are targeting these people you do want to mess around with your reach i would i generally when starting off and you have you have it's cold traffic and you don't have any data i wouldn't usually go less than like 700,000 okay it's when you have a lot of data that's when you can really narrow it down okay so I would usually go from say let's just say a million all the way to 20 million okay you can you can probably try more than that but that's the sweet spot for me that's what works for me okay so it's not a bad product Um, it's just some ideas uh, to throw out there for you and to get your minds ticking okay so this is the next product this is probably the highest um, I would go with using Facebook ads and doing high ticket drop shipping. okay? Any higher than this, you want to use Google ads, okay? Google ads are generally better, but we're talking about Facebook ads for now. So let's just check it out, okay? So you can see here, it's the same as all the pages. They clearly know this works. The video and the branding, okay? So the, the, the branding in the video, it's on YouTube. It looks, it looks 100% legit, okay? They have more of these GIFs. Um, bullet points and then they're explaining further what the product does okay so this product is pretty cool and um, it basically charges different things off off the wind okay so it's like your own little turbine and um, to charge things and run your electricity on i'm not sure exactly does what exactly does it plug into sockets but it seems to be do it does it says generate clean energy and cut your electricity bills in half okay so it's a really good selling point i'm gonna pay 500 dollars and this can maybe this can run my caravan or say if you're going out camping okay so that is different types of things you could actually target if someone is into camping like you can see here in this picture target people that are into camping or target people that have um and uh, one of them vans a camper van okay so that is that is something to look into and um, you can definitely definitely use this product and give it a blast okay social proof as always and that is it right so let's check out how much you can make off this product right so let's go over to aliexpress and you can see here it has different prices for the 12 volt from china it costs 100 and doesn't tell us exactly you probably have to add to the car okay three blades okay so you can choose between three blades and five blades so it gives you a lot of variations to choose from and that is what you want to give your customer loads of variations that they can choose from okay so if we were to go with the three blades let's see what are they selling are they yeah so you can choose three five or six blades so the three blades here is going for four hundred dollars and on aliexpress you can buy it for two hundred dollars okay so if your cost per purchase was eighty dollars you just made a hundred and twenty dollars okay but as always, you're gonna have to really 
go wild on your marketing and you need to know what you're doing with these items but it is something to try and that's what it's all about okay so how much can you expect to earn from a store like this okay so what are these guys making okay they're making 1.3 million to 2.6 million per month off products like this okay so you can see here the domain was created three years ago so they're very established and um, we can come over to similar web and we can check how much is organic and how much is paid okay so you can see here it's 80 percent paid traffic okay so they have 20 percent okay so they probably are doing a good bit of email marketing 20 percent and um, of their traffic is organic maybe seo from google things like that but 80 percent is paid okay so check out the countries mainly united states okay so 50 percent of the traffic is coming from the united states uh next is united kingdom um yeah so if you want to use this similar web it's really good for checking out your competitors all you do is enter their website up here and it'll give you all this data that you can decide is this product good for me okay because if the website if they're only using organic um traffic that's not very good for you okay so if you're gonna run paid ads off facebook you want to know is it viable is can this be done okay but not, that's not to say it can't be done if they're not doing that okay so usually you get the best results when you are the outlier and no one else is doing that product but you okay okay so let's talk about the real high ticket drop shipping okay so drop shipping items that are in the price range of five hundred dollars all the way up to five thousand dollars okay obviously the higher the ticket the more that goes into it the better the marketing the better you have to be um as a marketer okay so what are the best high ticket niches okay so number one is office well they're in no particular order okay so office fitness home and living and um, you can try professional products okay so things to do with uh, different professions like a dentist chair and um, a chiropractor table where they manipulate you okay you can build a store around these okay so obviously you can start off on very simple ones start with an office and look for these big fancy office desks okay so the best place to do all this is google itself it is um it's a bit different to facebook ads because you are going to be contacting suppliers usually in the usa or whatever country you are in okay so just for instance, if you are in the USA, let's just for sake you are in the USA, you're gonna be contacting US suppliers, okay? So you wanna come over to Google and you just wanna Google whatever you're looking for, whatever product um, you wanna promote, whatever store you wanna build around that product, okay? Or that niche, right? So let's just type in luxury home furniture. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna see like where like what products okay people are drop shipping and to see where they come from okay so you can see this is one stop bedrooms okay so these guys are actually drop shipping this product right so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to contact the actual manufacturer of this product okay so you can see here it's es esf and that is the name of the company okay so this is the name of the company so these guys from one stop bedrooms they are just drop shipping this, okay? It's the same, okay, so this is them here, okay? So you can see one stop bedrooms. They might have some of their own products, but they're probably drop shipping a lot of products, okay? So because they have a huge uh, platform and why not make extra money, okay? So they have the platform, uh, they don't wholesale all these products, so they are just drop shipping it for other manufacturers, okay? So you can see here the company uh, for this um poster bed is north shore okay so you you need to contact these individual companies okay so you'd want to contact these and then you'd want to negotiate prices and tell them what you're doing tell them you're a professional marketer and um, or you tell them you already have a store something like that and that you'd be interested in working with them and what price can you give me for this okay and then what you're going to do is obviously you're going to have a markup here uh, you're going to mark it up on google and that's how it works okay so there is a lot of different products you can do for this okay so you can do beds you can do office 
office desks you can do chairs okay so you can come over to office depot and you can just check out the different items they are selling okay so go over to these big huge retailers and check out what items and um, they are selling here okay because it is not all their own okay so you can see here this is a sit stand desk like the one i have here serious product okay and um, that's a pretty good price 529 dollars and if you can get that cheaper, that's pretty good. So what you do is you would contact WorkPro or Solder, and you would contact as many of these companies as possible, okay? So there's a little trick if you are in a different country and you wanna see the search results from the US or whatever country, you would come over to this uh, URL. It's called, set, it's uh, isearchfrom.com, okay? So you type in the country you wanna search from, and you type in whatever you want to search okay because if you do it from your own country it doesn't work even if you change the settings it still comes up and even though i have a vpn vpn on mine and it still doesn't do it, okay so if you do it from this it works really good okay so you can see here you just click search and it's going to come up all the different dentist chairs in the united states okay so you can see they go for absolute mad money okay so if you could get these like look at these 2000 well this is a massage what is that massage chair two thousand dollars and these are really big high ticket items okay so obviously it is like the price people are paying per click on this is probably a lot okay so they could be they might like like for instance this two thousand dollar chair they might spend three to three hundred to four hundred dollars in clicks before they get a sale or maybe a thousand dollars in clicks okay so you really do want to know what you're doing in google ads first and um, so i'd recommend starting off at a lower a lower high ticket item first and see how you get on with that because you don't want to waste a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing in google ads and especially if you don't if you don't know what you're doing in e-commerce in general okay so that's why i always recommend starting facebook learn how to build a store learn how to build proper funnels learn how to turn a cold audience into a warm audience okay you get the picture okay because if you have a shitty little uh, product page and a store and you you're trying to sell these chairs worth two two thousand dollars like that is a huge huge price you are asking people to pay number one they have they're going to do research they're going to be contacting you first they're not like m nine times out of ten people aren't just going to spend two thousand dollars on a chair okay so that is that is the high end of high ticket drop shipping but you it is you can do it okay it is doable people are doing this as you can see here all a lot of these are probably drop shipped okay you're going to see the same products that people are doing they're just using different stores okay okay so if you have no idea about google ads just let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on that i will happily do one and we can dive into the google ads side of things if you are sick of facebook ads and you've tried your look there maybe you had some success but now you want to do google ads okay because google ads are very powerful and it's great to learn all these different things okay because when you put them all together and you finally decide okay i'm going to build a brand i'm going to do this you, you you know how to do facebook ads you you know how to do ads on pinterest you know how to do google ads and then you can com combine all that knowledge together to absolutely scale the brand you have okay so that is all for today guys i hope you enjoyed the video just remember if you want to win the free one-on-one -on -one consulting call with me just comment master plan down below that's master plan in the comment section subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell and you'll be entered to win okay guys thanks for watching see you in the next one